Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alejandra Horvath and today I want to show you how to open several tables that are coming from different files. All these tables have the same number of columns, same titles, different order on the columns except for the first column. And some of the files will have some rows above the column names and those rows might be empty or may have some text and the number of those rows uh, can be different from file to file. So let me show you how we are going to do that with Power Query. The goal is to get this pivot table where I have province, department, January, February, and March. These are the sales of every single uh, province and every single month. Every month I receive the file. Let me show you these files and let me just press enter. I select the three files, I press enter and look, they have the apartment, the month, account code, province, and amount. Some of them have some uh, lines before the titles of the columns. I'm gonna press Control uh, arrow down, and you can see that this uh, range comes up to row 11,343. I'm gonna go to the top, Control uh, Home, and you can see this is the month of January. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna go with the next one, it's February. Here is the month. This report doesn't have any text above the name of the columns. And same, same columns, as I said, just make sure that if you're working with this technique, make sure that you have one column that is gonna be always in the same position. In this case, the department position is always in the first column. And control uh, arrow down to see the last row is 11,342. Control home to go back to the beginning of this uh, sheet. I'm gonna close it and then here we have March. And same thing, but this one has two rows above the name of the columns and these two rows have text. Same thing, control a roll down, and this one goes up to 11,343. So I'm gonna close this, and this is the final product. Let's say I have my folder here on my desktop, inside of demo, inside of demo, I have a folder that's called cells. I'm gonna go back to uh, demo, double click at April, so you can see the content of that file, similar um, structure. I have some rows above the titles of these columns, and so on and so forth. Okay, so you saw the content of this file. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna control C, I control C this file, and I'm gonna go inside of my folder sales, control V to paste that file. I'm gonna go back to my pivot table, right click and refresh, and you can see, just like magic, I have April here added without any time, really. So very easy, very simple way to do this, and I created only one query. So let's start from scratch. I'm gonna open a new workbook. You, you can press Control N. And I'm gonna go to data, get data from file, from folder. Uh, here I'm inside of the folder demo. I have my folder sales. I'm gonna double click there and click add open. Um, I, I can see the content of this uh, folder. Oh, I can see I have April there. So let me go back to my folder. I'm gonna remove April so we can add it at the end. So you can see that our query is gonna be working properly. So I'm gonna uh, close this. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna go to data, get data fra from file, from folder. And folder sales, open. Here you have the content now with three files only, which is correct, and I'm gonna transform data. I cannot combine the data yet because I have some of the tables or some, some of this information have text on top of the name of the columns. I cannot combine them yet. I need to transform them first and then combine them. So here on the left, you will see that I have the name of the query, which is sales, the same name of the folder. I'm gonna hide this part. I have my content here, Control C plus to zoom in. And I just want to keep my column uh, content. I don't want to keep anything else. So I'm gonna make a projection here, double square brackets to keep only one column. And I'm gonna say content. I'm gonna go to the end, enter. And here I have this information as binary. I'm gonna create a new step. I'm gonna say this is equal. And it's gonna be table transform. 
columns. Uh, this one. Uh, open parenthesis, the table that is coming from the, my step source, which is the, the, the column that we're seeing. It's, it's a table anyways, with one column. <laughs> so I'm going to open um, the curly brackets because it's asking me to transform, transform operations as a list. And inside of that, I'm going to provide the name of the column, content, comma, I, comma, no, no, dot. And I need to provide operation um, as a function. And I need to say that I want the Excel workbook here. Open parenthesis, underscore, because I want that this goes and looks into every single line of my column, column content. I'm going to go to the end, close parenthesis. I'm going to press enter. You can see I don't have binary anymore. Now I can see what is inside of my files, um, my Excel workbooks, right? Excellent. I'm going to expand this. And here on the top, I have two arrows uh, facing opposite uh, directions. I'm going to click there. I just want to bring the information that in the column that has the tables, which is the column data. And I'm going to say OK. Uh, OK, excellent. And now I can see the content of every single file. As I said, some of these files have some text or some lines, text, empty line, and before the titles of the columns and that is going to be very easy to to fix and i'm going to just rename my last step because i don't want to have a very long step my code gets a little bit too busy so i'm going to just create another step and where i'm going to go to equal table transform columns and this one uh, open parenthesis i go to the end of expanded that is the table that is coming from my previous step and you provide the operation as a list, uh, the transform operation, sorry, as a list. Inside of the uh, quotation marks is going to uh, go the name of the column data, comma. I need to provide a, um, a function. And I, that's why I provide the, the word each, which is a keyword for a function. This is going to tell me that I want to skip. I want to remove anything that is above of the columns uh, headers or the columns, uh, the titles of the columns. I'm going to say table skip. Perfect. I'm going to skip which tables? Well, the tables that are inside of my column data. So, and I'm going to, and I'm going to provide the underscore. This is going to tell Power Query to go and look every single line of this column data. So, um, comma, what is the condition? What do I need to look for? how many lines I need to remove from there, or which condition do I need to meet so this information gets removed. Well, I'm going to tell um, the function, let me say each, please process the following. I need you to look into column one and remove anything that does not equal the parent. So in my case, in this example, all the files have the first column that is called the parent. And I'm going to go to the end, close parenthesis, enter. Now you will see that I have the first line as the name of the columns. Perfect. I can just um, promote headers. And I'm going to do that here. I'm going to, after the my each, sh uh, shift enter. I'm going to say let. I'm going to have a nested let. No, I don't know why. I'm very obsessed with that right now. <laughs> I just love that to have a, a, a nested let. And that's going to be the uh, value of my variable A, the tables as they are right now, without uh, promoting the headers or the first line as headers. And I'm going to press Shift Enter. That's all that I want inside of my um, expression let. I'm going to close that, of course, with the expression in. And I'm going to press uh, Shift Enter because now the result, I want to promote the headers. Table, promote headers, open parentheses, and I want to promote the headers to the tables that are coming from my variable A, which are these tables that I'm seeing here. And I think that's it. I'm going to uh, press the check mark and let's see what happened. Perfect. <laughs> here it is. My first line has been promoted as the headers. So. Um, that is perfect. That's all that I need. I, ju I can just combine all my tables. I'm going to create a new step. I'm going to press FX. I'm going to say equal table combine. Open parenthesis, go to the end. I need to provide tables as list. So I'm going to do a projection. 
one set of square brackets to bring the column data as list. Close the square bracket, close the parentheses, press enter, and now I have all my tables combined right here. I can see here on the column month. If I click at load more, and now you can see I have January, February, and March. Excellent. And uh, but let's get this to Excel. I'm gonna go home, close and load, close and load to. And here um, I'm gonna ask, I only have one query, so I'm this is easy. I'm gonna bring this as a pivot table. Uh, I want to do that in the existing worksheet, B2, I'm gonna say okay. And excellent. So I'm gonna bring the amount to the values, the department to the rows, the month to the columns, and the province, let's say every province has the department. Excellent. I'm gonna right click uh, to any of the numbers inside of the pivot table. I'm gonna select number format, numbered, thousand separators, zero decimals, and that's it. Excellent. Now we have January, February, and March. Let's test our query. So here I'm gonna go one folder uh, before the sales folder. I'm gonna control C April, double click sales, control V to paste that file inside of my folder sales. I'm gonna go back to my pivot table, right click, refresh, and here is April in no time. Excellent. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also share with anybody that you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.